everybody, and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. And as you can see, we are still on this ultimate engineered solar system just because there's just so many things that you can do with this thing. And the biggest thing I want to be able to do is copy and paste. Uh, but I haven't found a feature for copying and pasting in Universe Sandbox 2, but I would love to just place two of these things around here, three of these things, try and create like a binary system. Of yeah, I'm just going to mess around a bit. I want to be able to like select, take everything, and paste it in because what if we did this ultimate engineered solar system but we put it in three dimensions because right now we're only dealing with this is there a way to paste an entire simulation because i've never done that before control <gasps> is there a way to move <laughs> move everything we just change the axis of everything everything could start going crazy so let's speed up time <laughs> oh all right we're making some aura art that way but that's not exactly what i wanted but i'll live with this for a second this is kind of similar to what we did last time uh except it's now tilted we've gone three-dimensional and it'll probably stay stable that way which whatever it is so it's the same deal where you have multiple layers of uh the periapsis, which is like the closest point. Uh, so you got a layer here, you got a layer there, and then zoop, zoop, zoop. Right, so I mean, I could try that again. We could just hit control. We can just try tilting things even more. Jumble it up that way. And then maybe spin things around that way. Okay, so we've suddenly changed everything. Hit play. And let's watch everything go insane. This looks a little bit more chaotic, but I could be wrong. I was going to say, wait for the old trails to disappear, but now we're seeing some stuff get flung into space. So I don't know. This might just be completely chaotic now. <laughs> Let's just see how that changes like that. All right. Okay. And go. Speed up, speed up. And everything goes insane. So that is practically vertical, although everything is still. <laughs> what is everything doing? Looks like some stuff is flying into the sun. <laughs> oh god, it's so satisfying! <laughs> Look at that! Look at those perfect parabolas! My computer can't even handle this right now. Can't go more than 10 days per second, so we just gotta wait. I think half the solar system got burnt up because it just got so close to the sun. Look at that. Look how close these are getting. Like, they probably burn up. Actually, this might just be spinning. That is an insanely close orbit, and eventually it'll just burn out. Right, so how is this axis? We need to get something completely flipped. We have to flip this green axis so that everything is, is uh, perpendicular. So let's move this. There we go. That is exactly what we want. A complete 90 degree shift. That looks 90 degrees. Okay, we're gonna leave it at that. Hit play, one day per second. We're just gonna let things go very slowly, that way all our calculations are perfect. Look at everything. Rise and fall in harmony. Everything looks like it's orderly. Maybe we should speed it up just a little bit more. But I have to fight the temptation because this is looking pretty good. Nothing looks like it's just gonna about to fly out of the solar system. Let's see how the next few seconds go. Oh, that looks so amazing. We'll try a 180 degree flip after this. Look at that, it's like a cylinder now. It's like a... Yeah, that's how you can describe it. It's like now this solar system has turned into a cylinder, a spiral cylinder. I don't know how else to describe it, but nothing's flung out. This experiment is a success. Now, now we are going to try 180 degrees. We tried 90 degrees, tried to get a perfect 90 degrees. Now we're going to get 180. What happens when we double it? And then we'll want the blue axis to basically return back to its rightful spot. But, so what will this do? This is going to be weird. Because we basically flipped the solar system upside down. Is everything 
going to crash into the sun? Like, this is... It's, it's trying to make a prediction now of all of these orbits. And now it's showing a bunch of parabolas <laughs> getting extremely close to the sun. It's only one way to find out. Where will everything go? What? It's like get, everything is getting hyperbolic. This feels like something you would see in a differential equations class. Uh, I feel like I'm watching a vector field um, and, and where the sun is basically the asymptotes. <laughs> Meaning you, it, everything will get infinitely large or small depending on which axis you're at. Just my rough definition of what an asymptote is. Uh, it's limits. Just think limits. There we go. Wow. 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 I'm, uh, just pay attention to each one of these things individually. And everything looks chaotic but there is harmony how is everything else doing what we turned the solar system into a rhombus or a square it's a square solar system is this just going to extend out these might have completely dis deorbited how long can this last and that's when you flip this whole solar system 180 degrees. Okay, there we go. Something got launched out. This isn't a fully stable solar system, but it's square. We made a square solar system. <laughs> if you are a math expert in the comments, please, like, give me an explanation for this. Like, how that would turn into a square. Maybe there is not really an explanation. I, don't, I mean, it, it largely depends on how the game works as well. Uh, like how the game just processed me flipping that particular axis, uh, axis 180 degrees. I'm pretty sure it was the plane that uh, all of these orbits were lying on. And I just flipped it, not seeing a whole lot of patterns anymore. It was mostly just how everything changed. And now this is just the solar system falling into chaos. That was cool. Let me just keep spinning. Okay. All right. I'm going to do it right about here. What is that going to do? This looks like a fat, fat solar system. Hit play. Not too, not too much chaos. The orbits changed just enough where it becomes multi-layered. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Let's try changing this again. I'm liking the way things are going now. We'll do another 90 degree change somewhere else and see how what happens there. All right, select that. So which axis do we want to change? Let's make the blue axis become the red axis. Where will you diverge? Will you get too chaotic? All right, we got a lot of stuff getting close to the sun. All right, all right. We have something cool going on here. Let's just make everyone Let's just tell everyone to stop. Just stop. We're deleting the sun. Now let's see where everyone goes. Now that the sun has been deleted, everyone's just going to fly off into whichever direction they happen to be in. And I'm not focused on anything now because I deleted the sun, so we're just going to go into free cam mode. And it looks like it's what you would expect. Everything is just going to extend, extend, extend out. Ooh, actually... What is this? Add velocity of minus 10 kilometers per second on the z-axis. So only in the z-axis. Oh, and we lost the sun as well. What the heck kind of feature is that? <laughs> well, what if we add 10%? Okay. Okay. I'll, we were adding 10 kilometers per second, so that actually probably had a significant effect. Oscillate, 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 oscillate. So, spin. Now do that. Let's just keep doing this. Let's just jumble, 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 jumble it all up. And then that will be the final result. <laughs> you can see the trails just like went insane right there. And let's see if they can maintain anything semi-stable as a result of that. Oh, okay, let's deselect that because that looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
That's actually probably one of my favorite ones there. I think that was like the, the thick solar system that I was kind of showing for. Yeah. These are all starting to look the same now. What if we put a black hole up here again? Like, you guys remember the last time where I shot a black hole pretty much down the middle? Let's try that one more time. So I'll fire a black hole. Actually, maybe I'll do it from both ways. Like, let's try that. We'll have one black hole above and one black hole beneath. Be right about there. All right. And now I will travel across the land if I can. Focus. Oh, there we go. I could actually line up with the black hole right here. That's actually a pretty cool view because you can see the sun just warping right here. So what would be about equidistant? This would be about equidistant. Okay. So roughly equidistant apart. Actually, I think I did a pretty good job there. That seems pretty good. Okay, so I don't want to be going at 1.5 months per second. We're going to be going at days per second here. Uh, just because I really want to see the effects of this. Okay. <laughs> okay, maybe just a little bit slower. But you know what? It's not too bad. But my computer cannot run this. Seems like this one ended up being a little bit closer. And that black hole is still moving. Within the matter of minutes, this black hole is eating everything. Will they collide, though? Merge. It's like cells. Oh, and it turned into a big black hole. In a perfect world, though, they should have been equidistant. No, we cannot leave without actually getting this perfect. So we're going to try and figure out how to make this perfect. I want to see if we can make a black hole fire through here without actually causing any of the planets to move. Because if we get this right, if both black holes are going at the same velocity in complete opposite directions and all these planets are on the same plane, then gravity should be tugging on each planet equally from both sides. So it should nullify any effects. And the blast hole, black holes will collide with each other in the center and ultimately suck up everything. That's my prediction. These will just be preliminary positions. So now we're going to rotate all the way here. Actually, doing this might be really easy. Okay. Because all I had to do was rotate. Maybe this will be fine. Maybe these are already actually equidistant. All right. Let's see how that plays out just by eyeballing it like that. That was a little too fast. But you guys saw that, right? You saw that. We're not going to go one day per second. We're gonna go at like 21 minutes per second or maybe even a little slower. Okay, so let's try that. So everything's already moving at just four minutes per second. And it looks like they're kind of leaning towards the top one. Just because, just because that one was probably just slightly closer, but you guys see what happened there. They didn't instantly just fly up they very slowly moved up to the top one and then all that was left was a black hole let's try launching it a little bit slower this time let's just go 100 kilometers per second we'll put one right there right about here okay so there we go we're in the minutes per second everything is going outwards for some reason it's staying relatively flat so that's good let's speed that up what is even going on why is everything rushing out here what no way oh my god okay Okay, I'm trying to process what just happened there. <laughs> it's still, they're still approaching each other. Okay. Okay. And, oh my god. That is fantastic. And there's the sun. <laughs> oh, these were so, like, almost perfect. Probably not perfect, almost perfect. Look at that! We have two left on this side, two left on this side. Pretty much, it's practically the same thing. And then there we go. It combined into one black hole with a few stragglers. 
<laughs> okay. Okay. So, what just happened there? It was like a it was like a tug of war. Like it was it was wanting to stay flat, but the imperfections in the placement ended up like causing the whole system to eventually or, or half the system in each side eventually gave way to whichever black hole. So it's like they were going, no, it must stay flat because gravity's pulling on both sides. But eventually it kind of did that. And then each side just respectfully went to its own black hole. My best way of explaining it, but that's where we end this video. That's where we end it. That cool experiment right there. All right, hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you all later. Everything spiraling. Oh, that looks awesome! And then they're gonna start crashing into. No! <laughs> this thing is so much fun.